basic moss technology they have a large number and variety of basic fabrication steps used in the production of modern moss integrated circuits the same process can be used for the design of nmos or pmos or cmos devices nmos fabrication the technology of n channel metal oxide semiconductor nmos is less complex and requires less number of lithographic steps the fabrication of an nmos transistor illustrated in the following steps step 1 fabrication process is done on a thin wafer cut from a single crystal of silicon available in its purest form these wafers which are typically 75 to 150 mm in a diameter and 0.4 mm thick are doped suitably with p type impurities for example boron during the crystal growth doping concentrations of 10 power 15 per cubic centimeters to 10 power 16 per cubic centimeters gives resistivity approximately in the range of 25 ohm centimeter to 2 ohm centimeter step 2 a relatively thick silicon dioxide layer is grown all over the surface of wafer the silicon dioxide layer typically of 1 micrometer thick acts as an excellent insulator onto which other layers may be deposited and patterned it also protects the surface and acts as a barrier to impurities during the fabrication process step 3 the entire oxide surface is then coated with a light sensitive liquid plastic material called photoresist spinning the wafer allows to achieve an uniform distribution of the required thickness step 4 the photoresist layer which is sensitive to light is then exposed to ultraviolet light through a mask the mask defines those areas onto which the diffusion to take place with the transistor channels for an instance the regions required for diffusion are shielded by mask and remained unaffected while the regions that were exposed to light are polymerized and hardened step 5 the unpolymerized regions are then etched away together with underlying silicon dioxide forming the window defined by the mask step 6 the remaining photoresist is removed or stripped by the hot sulfuric acid a thin layer of silicon dioxide which is of 0.1 micrometer thickness is grown over the entire surface which will eventually form the gate oxide of the mos transistor a layer of heavily doped polysilicon is deposited on the top of the thin oxide by chemical vapor deposition technique which is also called as cvd technique after deposition of poly a layer of photoresist a mask defining the gate is placed over the photoresist and exposed to the uv radiation as a result the polysilicon over the portion excluding the gate region is etched away step 7 the exposed thin oxide is then removed to clear regions into which n type impurities are diffused or ion implanted to form the source and drain diffusion is achieved by heating the wafer to high temperatures and passing a gas containing the required impurity for example phosphorus over the surface it is important to notice that the polysilicon over the thin gate oxide and the thick oxides over the other regions acts as masks for preventing diffusion this is also known as self aligned process step 8 the entire surface is again covered with a thick silicon dioxide layer and is then masked with photoresist and etched to form the selection selected regions of polysilicon gate 
drain and source regions where the electrical contacts are to be made. Finally, in the last step, a aluminium metal is deposited over the surface which is typically of 1 micrometer thick and edged to form the required electrical connections. Thank you. Thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe it.